can't stay much longer, Barney. You feeling okay? Yeah, sure. Sure is a nice getup you've got there for Halloween. Too bad it's uh, too early. Well, maybe by Halloween I'll manage to set my hair on fire. Oh, Barney. Oh, MJ, I'm always messing things up. Yeah, I'm, look, if I tried to shoot myself, I'd probably miss. Don't talk like that. <sighs> I'm ashamed of myself. Why? Because I'm so dumb. Oh, you're not dumb. Oh. All I try to do is help my kids. Well, I know, and they know that, too. Sure, so. and all I manage to do is mess things up over and over again. Barney, I think that's enough of that. Well, well it's true. <laughs> Look, you had an accident, right? What does that prove? It proves that you're human like everybody else. You made a mistake. That's all I do. <sighs> Look, I, I, I really better get going. I think you're going to feel a lot better in the morning, okay? After you have some sleep. Yeah. Bye-bye. You know, honey, I just can't imagine. I can't figure out how it happened. Well, I, I think Luke figured it out. Tell me. Wow. Where were you today? You were supposed to have helped me with that tour, MJ. Don't tell me you missed me. Of course I missed you. Why? With that wonderful Nola Aldridge I at your side? I didn't want Nola Aldridge. I wanted you there. I kept looking for you all day. Why? Because I love you. You know, Colin, I, I should just uh, pick a flower and start plucking the petals off. Now he loves me. Now he doesn't. Maybe then I would know. Look, why do you keep talking like this? Just because Mona put Nola in charge of that tour. Colin, you... you are a big boy now. You have to stop blaming Nola for everything. All right. I'm going to blame you. Why do you keep avoiding me? I'm not. Yes, you are. Hello, Dr. Wakefield. Hello. Have you met my uh, wife-to-be? Dr. Markle, <laughs> You are so arrogant sometimes. I know, I know. You make know. me feel like a fool. That's not true. I already feel like a fool. You just make me feel worse. Well, I want you to feel better. Well, I will, as soon as I go home. Oh, good. Is that where we're going? That's where I'm going. Well, I am too. Well, Colin, it's so easy to get angry with you. But I always love you. I never change. Why do you say that? Because it's true. Is it? Yes, it is. MJ, why can't you believe me? I want to. I really do. MJ, will you please stop that? You do not have to do something every time you come over here. That's all right. It'll give me a chance to work out my frustrations on this poor stove. Colin? And Nola. What about Nola? Oh, I don't know how she managed it this time, but she and Colin gave that tour of the hospital to the patrons yesterday, after Mona sent me that note saying that my services would not be required. Apparently, I'm not slick enough, or, or beautiful enough, or charming enough. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Why would Mona think things like that? I don't know. All I know is that her wonderful daughter-in-law was certainly presentable and made a big hit with all the patrons. Something is wrong around here. I know it. Meanwhile, Nola is really tightening the screws into Colin. And she's gonna win, too. She's gonna get him. You'll see. Nobody could call Colin exactly stupid. Nobody's going to win anything while you're around. But she just won't give up. I mean, I thought she would give up when Colin and I got engaged. Or at least when he told her that her child had nothing to do with him and that he didn't want to have anything to do with it anymore. But oh no, she just keeps chipping away. Well, I have every confidence in you. I've never known you to quit in the face of a challenge. Yeah, well, a challenge is one thing, but... It was an accident with Barney. What accident? Oh, didn't you know? The, uh, the stove at the medicine man blew up and Barney was burned. Oh, no. Yeah, and he also got a blow on the head. Is he all right? Yeah, physically, I guess he'll be okay in a couple of days, but he is kind of down on himself. Oh, the poor man. Yeah. He's had such a terrible time lately. And, of course... She managed to use that to her best advantage. How did Nola use it? Well, she found out about her father, and she was just weeping all over Colin's shoulder, and then he turned out to be her knight in shining armor. Now they're closer than ever. I don't know. 
Honey, if you want that man, then just hang in there. Just don't take Nola so seriously. I'm sure Colin doesn't. But she just will not give up. She is relentless. You know what she did the other day? She gave him a picture, a big photograph of Jessica, full color in a big frame. <laughs> She's got guts. I've got to give her that. Yeah. What did he say? Well, he sent it back. Well, there, you see. Now, what are you worried about? <laughs> I'm worried about me. She has got more than guts. She's got beauty. She's got brains. She's got personality. What do I have to stack up against all that high-powered stuff? Sincerity. Big deal. I love you. You're such a dope. You've got beauty. You've got charm. You've got everything. In fact, you've got one thing she hasn't got. Oh, yeah? Tell me, quick. Colin is in love with you. I keep telling myself that. At least 60 times a day, every time I think about Nola. Why don't you start listening to yourself? It's true. Mm -hmm.